welcome back to my channel so Natanya has just got her GCSE results we just done a reaction to her opening her results over on her channel so I'm just gonna you know share my reaction over here I look like a proper African mum today boy <laughs> but yeah Natanya would you want to tell them what you got what you got what you okay. got <laughs> for combined science I got a nine nine for maths I got eight for photography I got a nine for history I got seven for French I got five for language I got eight for literature I got eight and for media I got eight <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going to go call all her friends. Like she spoke to her dad. She got her dad's reaction as well. Um, now she's going to go call all her friends to go and find out what they got and stuff. But honestly, I am so so proud of Natanya. Like honestly, as a mum, I was literally like so nervous for the past couple of days. I've just been like so anxious for her because I'm like I feel it felt like I was getting my GCSE results all over again, and I'm just like. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if the, she's gonna get what she deserves because obviously the whole issue with, you know, the, the government saying that they're gonna do some algorithm thing and it messed up people's A-levels last week and then um, them deciding to do a U-turn and decide to, you know, get the teachers involved to give the grades from what they think they would be, uh, from their predicted grades and stuff. So yeah, like there's just so much was going on and I was just like, I'm just praying that Natanya gets what she deserves and that you know her teachers were able to you know be fair in giving her the grades that she that she got and I genuinely feel like you know those are the grades that she deserves like she has worked her ass off like literally like before the whole pandemic this girl was revising so much and you know you see over on her channel yeah I'm just like so proud of her like she's literally she's a the Natanya's the kind of child that you know i've not had to really push her like she genuinely wants to do well like she's never i've never felt like i needed to push her to you know go and read your book you know like i've never had to like really force her to like pay attention in terms of her education she's always had the desire to do well in her education and i just love that about her and I love that about her attitude towards education. She has worked hard and she has pushed herself and she really wanted to do well and she, you know, she's getting the grades that she deserves. So yeah, I'm just so happy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just thank God, you know what I'm saying? I just thank God. I mean, my GCSEs were good as well, you know what I'm saying? I got some good grades for my GCSEs too. But Natanya definitely is above and beyond anything that I achieved. So, and that's what you want as a parent. That's what you want for your children. You want your children to do better than yourself. You want your children to achieve more than what you've ever achieved in life. And I think that's really, um, this is really, this is a really great moment for me as a parent to be able to know that my daughter is being able to really excel and really do well in her education and i'm just so proud of her she got that brains and beauty okay she got brains and she got beauty double threat okay <laughs> I think from a parent's perspective, I think it's really important that regardless of whatever your child has received in their results, to just continue to support them regardless and continue to encourage them in whatever aspect or vocation or field, whatever it is that they are passionate about, that to just continue to support them and encourage that because not every child is academic, not every child is really into school. And as much as we as parents want to, our children to do well education wise, there are children who are just, they're just not built like that. <laughs> For some reason, they're just not interested in schoolwork. They probably have passions in other fields. And I think that as parents, especially as African parents, Nigerian to be specific, Pacific, okay? Specific and Pacific. Um, <laughs> see what your children are good at, whether it's in education or outside of education, and to encourage and support them regardless. I think there needs to be a generation of African parents who are willing to just support their children in whatever field that they're meant to be successful in, whether it's in education whether it, or outside of education, whether it's in sports, music, media, whatever it might be, even just being on social media and growing or following on YouTube, like just continue to just support them to succeed in whatever field because it's not everybody that's going to be a doctor, okay? It's not everybody that's going to be a lawyer, 
okay we can't have a world full of doctors and lawyers because we actually need people to do other things as well you know so that might not be their calling <laughs> um yeah i think i'm very much for parents just supporting their children in whatever it is that your child is good at and if you've noticed that your child is good at something encourage it support them nurture that skill natanya she's always been very academic she's always been a child that wants to do well in education she loves going to school like i don't know if i've met a child that enjoys that like she's from when she was little and she was going to um, nursery always enjoys going to school and she's always wanted to do well in her education she's always wanted to get good grades when there's times where she's like she's been a bit lazy and she's not really put as much effort as i know that she could and i've had to be like you know you know you need to like step it up especially science like science where she got nines science was a struggle for her in secondary school because yeah seven eight and nine like she was really struggling with science and she had issues with her teachers that she had at the time and um, she was getting fours in science like U's in science so for her to go from getting fours to getting a nine in her GCSEs she's literally had to like change her attitude towards science and push herself and having a teacher that encourages her also helped as well and she's worked so hard she revised so hard for science because she knew that that was her weakest area and she was determined to like you know do better in that area and she worked hard for it so for her to get the the nine is like she's like she was literally in tears if you watch her reaction on her channel like she was really literally in tears because she was just so happy that she got it and that's what she wanted so yeah guys i'm just so happy for natania i'm so proud of her and I just thank God for her life. I thank God for the grace that he has given me to be able to be her mom, to be able to nurture her and support her. And, you know, whatever it is that, you know, I've been able to do to encourage her is li it's literally by the grace of God. It's only by the grace of God. Like, being a single parent is not easy. Although she has a great relationship with her dad and her dad is very much in the picture in terms of, um being there for her as her dad and having a relationship with her dad um her dad supports her as well her dad has always been encouraging to her in her education as well and um, you'll see his reaction over on her channel as well and you can just tell from the things that he said to her that you know he's he's always been a very supportive person but you know when you're not with the partner that with your father of your child in the same household it's different you know no matter how supportive and there a dad is on the outside is not the same as having two parents in the same household regardless you know being a single parent and having to raise a child is not easy so when you see the fruits of your labor when you see your child excelling in whatever area of their life it just makes you feel like okay maybe i am doing a good job and she's gonna be okay like she's gonna be fine and we're gonna be fine yeah i'm just i just thank god for seeing her through her secondary school education i always pray for her in regards to her, edu her education and her career and whatever it is that god wants to do in her life and whatever journey god has for her in terms of her her passions and her career and where god wants her to be and her purpose in life so i just thank god that he's been able to see her through this season of her education and i'm praying that you know she'll continue to excel as she goes into the next stage of a levels um so yeah i'm just really happy and i just wanted to share my reaction with you guys i i know that there's you know other parents that watch my channel you guys probably would have seen us when we filmed our reaction to the gcse exams being um cancelled and our concerns um in regards to that but we're here now and you know she's gotten her grades and it's absolutely an amazing result and i'm just so proud of her and so happy for her and i just wanted to share that on here with you guys for any other parents who can relate any other young people that watch my videos and getting your results good luck i hope that you get what you wanted and even if you didn't like 
don't give up just keep going keep pushing try and stay as positive as positive as possible this is just one chapter you still have the opportunity to do well in other chapters of your education and your career so keep going keep pushing use that disappointment to motivate you to want to do better and to keep going um, in whatever it is that you're passionate about and whatever it is that you want to achieve um, it's still very much possible so yeah just be encouraged thank you guys so much for watching this video and also uh, check out my bonnet come and see bonnet oh come and see bonnet <laughs> This bonnet was sent to me by um, a brand called Afro Trend. I, I'll put the link in my description box for anyone that is wondering where the hell did I get this bonnet. <laughs> I absolutely love it but yeah I'll put the link in the description box for anyone that wants to um, check out where I've got my bonnet but yeah look at my A's <laughs> A star student child have you called all your friends yeah well I've, I've, I've FaceTimed all of them and the rest of them are messaging me but I haven't opened it yet because I do this TikTok oh yeah she's doing, a, she's doing a TikTok she did a, what she predicted for herself and then she's gonna do a duet of what she actually got I'm so proud of you girl <laughs> all right then guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will catch you in the next one bye <laughs>